So I a few weeks ago I recently started playing TDX. And started grinding my way till I have every tower except Warship. Since apparently it's not even finished yet and they didn't remove it from the shop for some reason. Today, I'm gonna be grinding from level 0 till I beat expert mode. In this game I played with cliche in easy mode and used the shotgunner tower. Before I got shotgunner I won a couple of games before recording. It was a mistake buying shotgunner first. Since people were saying that it's bad at that time. But it's just good for speed running early game. Still, I shouldn't be getting towers for speedrun first. Speed running early game is the only use I found in shotgunner so far. Anyways, back to the game. We pretty much just treaded early game. Since we're also speed running this so we can grind much faster. There's really nothing more to strategize in this game since I only have two towers and we just keep shredding. So I tried upgrading my shotgunners. It wasn't worth it in this stage. We won this game fairly easily. With the time of 9 minutes. In the next game I tried intermediate mode with more friends. Again I wasn't able to do much here. With crappy towers. So I just got carried in this game. My friends just used missile trooper and operator to easily take down the boss. And eradicator blasts off like team rocket. This only took us 14 minutes which is good for a first win. I was able to buy operator from that game. Now I can help take down the bosses. Let's speedrun this. Ayo speedrun. No more saves. Society if auto skip was a thing in TDX. We died from the lack of defense piercing towers. Since intermediate has enemies with a crap ton of defense. Unlike TDS where your damage is capped at 1. Your towers damage can reach the decimals with this much reduction. In the next game, we still tried to speedrun intermediate mode in blocks out. We struggled a lot forcing me to place some towers at the back. Even if my tower can't counter this revived titan. Eventually we took care of the leaks. Reached wave 30 where predator appears. These attacks can damage your towers and kills it which makes him deadly. If your tower is incredibly tanky like artillery for example. You get a free stall. Unfortunately, we didn't have that this game. And predator was about to get out of range. Fortunately, our missile troopers were able to snipe him down. There's still a lot of pressure from the horde, since we skipped two waves after 30. We soon died from revived abominations because they're incredibly fast with a crap ton of HP. We were in the final wave as well. But hey. I got missile trooper now. A viable crowd control tower. Which managed to help me speedrun and get to the final wave of intermediate mode. Incredibly easy. Eradicator did not stand a chance. All thanks to Max Bottom Missile Trooper Path had absurd amount of DPS. We quickly won Intermediate again, finally. So what did we do after that triumph? We skipped Elite Mode to try Expert Mode instead. A genius idea. We already struggled early game. And eventually met our demise. No big surprise. So we tried Elite instead. Early game was the same as easy mode but more enemy spam. It wasn't hard compared to expert. Everything was chill. Until Abomination started to show up. Forcing us to place our towers at the back to survive. It all comes down in vain as wave 21 sent 5 Abominations to kill us. Out of 5 Abominations. 3 must pay the price. And 2 of them entered our base. We drop the difficulty down again to intermediate mode but we play on a hard map which is secret forest. We still lost. Twice on the same wave. After that galaxy has to dip so me and cliche bring it together in easy. And of course it's a speedrun. Or else we'll sleep in that game mode like how I sleep for playing Honkai Star Rail for 10 minutes. That was not a joke. And soon we duo intermediate mode. We still tried to speedrun it and got 14 minutes and 31 seconds which is pretty decent with the towers we have. Intermediate was pretty tight though. Then we tried elite mode. Still using shotgunner. 
It soon fell quickly when chained enemies showed up. They are pretty tanky and came in hordes. We soon died from rangers at wave 13. We barely have any towers placed. So we go back on intermediate again. In this map. This map is mostly covered in water which makes patrol useful. But the thing here is that we don't have patrol boat. So we tried beating as much waves as possible with our loadouts. This is so scuffed. We died from a nuclear zombie horde. We tried elite mode once again. Then died again. So we went back to intermediate mode on secret forest. And used shotgunner to speed her in it. We defended really good with a decent pace. Until monster stayed in the map for too long which tanked a lot of damage. Enough for charger boss to get to the front. And entered our base. Dead. In the next game, we made sure that monster quickly dies. Which makes wave 25 easy without towers damaging enemies at the back. We barely passed charger boss but it was enough. That managed to get us through wave 30. With predator getting so close to the base. We soon reached to the final wave. Eradicator almost got through our base but luckily. He decided to use his fire breath attack. Giving us enough time to kill him. Next I tried to beat expert mode again. With Dexo helping me. This time I am determined to win it. Yes, this also means that I'm skipping elite mode. Everything was all going smoothly until I forgot to do something. Which is to farm. I haven't gotten this far in expert mode so I don't know what wave to prepare yet. Fortunately, Dex Zero knows what to do. We were struggling a bit. I had to set my missile trooper last to kill elite grenadier so it wouldn't summon a ton of revived titans. It took some time to kill elite grenadier but its spawns are enough to be easily defeated. The next two waves were a breeze with missile trooper. Then we're back to struggling. Even though we have juggernaut plays. We continue to struggle hard from wave 24. From elite grenadiers. I can't simply set my towers to last because of revived titans at the back. Soon wave 25 is about to start and is about to give us a bullet. And it's three armored rushers swiftly pushing through our defenses with the help of wave 24. We got no chance to defend this. So we died. In the next game Grove Park joined making us a trio now. We got an issue on wave 18 with knights and rangers overwhelming our defenses. I shouldn't have placed more farms. Forcing us to place our towers at the back to clear enemy leaks. Unfortunately, wave 18 made us forgot to set our towers to last to kill elite grenadiers. Which made elite grenadiers spawn a decent amount of revived titans. Fortunately, we were able to kill elite grenadier before it went past our defenses. We were able to kill Knight from wave 18. And then revive Titans. On wave 24, we easily cleared it this time with 4 to 2 missile trooper spam and laser gunner. Surely, we can easily defeat wave 25. Apparently they have 90% armor on explosions and bullets making my towers incredibly weak against it. In the next game I am. Alright, back at wave 24 again. Still trying to pass through wave 25. Still not changing my strategy and over farms. Armored runner swiftly pushes through our defenses with ease again. Okay I must stop investing on farm. It's too late for that. After those loses I managed to have enough gold to be able to buy sniper. Sniper is a great tower for expert mode. Because of its armor piercing, range, and the ability to remove stealth. The fact that it has armor piercing should fix my wave 25 issue. Uh. Nope. I had no idea how to use it. Silly me. We got bored from losing so we just did one game on intermediate. Then it's back to expert mode again with even more farms. Seriously this is starting to look like an addiction. Something that Genshin and Honkai failed to make me addicted, despite having top path snipers that pierces armor and max laser gunner. We still lost to armored runners again because it took us too long to beat wave 24. Okay, 
This time I didn't place a ton of farms and decided to defend with 4 to 2 snipers. After successfully clearing out wave 24 before the triple armored runners. We finally passed it. Now I can see more of what expert has to offer. Still I hold my urge to farm and decided to just keep focusing on defenses. Also because I was told that expert gives a ton of cash in the late game. Predator still appears on wave 30, but this time there's two more of them and they have still. We easily killed them with juggernauts and baiting its attacks in order to save our towers. In the next waves it's just all spam again, but this time it's enemies that has explosion armor. Which makes my missile trooper useless. Wave 34 was pretty chill since we froze multipliers. To stop them from multiplying juggernauts. Little did we know what enemy did they multiply into. Yes, it chose to multiply a ton of elite grenadiers instead. That is a ton of enemies being spawned. Thank god I had some 2 to 5 missile troopers. Somehow we unbelievably survived that cancerous combo. That was so funny. Multiplier hit us again by multiplying a ton of revived abominations. They easily passed through our defenses. And entered our base. How fun. In another attempt we try to go back to getting wave 37 but Harry unfortunately disconnected mid game. We continued our game and see how far do we last with our own set of towers. We got to wave 30 surprisingly with only missile troopers and snipers. And died cause of one sneaky revived abomination managed to get through our snipers. In the next game we reached late game once again but this time. No more zero to stall mysteries and do that money. We finally passed wave 37 and it wasn't hard at all. Also in this game with Dexa. He managed to purchase the artillery tower which cost 8.75k gold and rank 64. This tower is a long ranged splash tower with a unique targeting mechanic compared to other towers in game. It also has a ton of HP. To summarize it's basically BTD mortar but tanky. With artillery, I managed to see the boss of expert mode for the first time. It's Juggernaut Eradicator. He completely wiped out all of our towers with ease. With barely any cash to replace those towers back we basically lost already. Only artillery survived the massacre. Never mind it dead. So we wasted all of our time by waiting for Eradicator Mark II to enter our base in order to get rewards. Next game we tried Elite again and up. We still died. And then Expert on blocks out. We quickly died from Juggernauts. After the new update releasing Barracks. I immediately bought it. Mainly because it's a spawner tower and I like spawner towers. Cliché helped me how to use barracks. Though it didn't do much since I haven't found barracks full potential yet. Alright, back on wave 40 again. But this time we're shredding Eradicator Mark too quickly. I also bought Mine Layer from the shop since I think she's expert with him. I was trying to place my snipers far away from the boss so it doesn't get targeted. It still gets hit from missiles. But finally. After plenty of attempts. I finally beat an expert mode for the first time. And that's. How long I took to beat expert for the first time. Before beating elite mode. This experience helped me know expert's wave structure so I can easily beat it in my next expert games. And that's all the grinding I did in TDX for this video. So if you want to see more of this you should subscribe so you don't miss my new vids. Now I have two games to grind. I'm gonna move back to my other account for TDS. Thanks for watching.